The European Tours BMW PGA Championship is underway at a resplendent Wentworth, where another strong field will vie for this prestigious title. Among them, former winner Simon Kahn, who has a special connection with the West Course. It's the feel of the place, uh, just driving in and, and the first tee feels extra special and probably the first week of the year for the players where there's a really big crowd there. Obviously British tournaments are so well supported and um, I, just, I just felt really comfortable playing the golf course as well. I've always had since even before I got my card and used to go, to go down and play there. I always thought, you know, I could really do well here. Um, it's my type, type of course when my game's on and you know, I'd had a good result there before and I just felt that if I could play my game, regardless of the field, I could, I could still win there, you know, and that's always been my feeling there, which is, which is really nice. In 2006, Ryder Cup star David Howell dominated at Wentworth to win by five strokes, but Simon secured second place. The start of that year had been really tough, uh, 2006 for me, and I hadn't had any good results really. And you know, I felt, you know, to, to finish second on my own was, you know, a win in itself really. And in the circumstance I was in, and um, yeah, it was a great week. And uh, although that was on the older course with the older greens, uh, the course is essentially the same, obviously tee to green. And I just, you know, that that just sort of made me feel, yeah, I can do that. Could maybe do it here one day. Well, that day came four years later when Simon shot a wonderful closing round 66, including a long-range birdie at the final hole. He posted the clubhouse target at six under par and then watched as Luke Donald double bogeyed the 17th and couldn't eagle the 18th to go into extra holes. When I finished, to be honest, I thought, at best, a playoff. And But the fast, last two holes, though, the, that year, were, were playing tough. You know, you'd 17, the green was really tough, and the runoff, and, and, eight, and obviously 18, the green was so severe, so it was hard to make birdies, you know, unlike previous years. So, you know, when Luke finally finished the way he did, um, you know, it was a shock, you know, to win a tournament stand on the practice ground, so that was, that was different. Been on my mind for years, you know, to win at Wentworth. You know, if, probably if I look back at all my old notes I make myself, it, it'll always be there. So I think I did struggle with that for a couple of years then, you know, just to grasp what I'd done a little bit. And obviously, you know, golf's, you know, you move on very quickly. <laughs> There's always another tournament the following week. Uh, so you've got to be up for it every week. And I felt like, you know, maybe my. You know, sometimes if your desire again is, is not quite that level, you, you you can dip a little bit in your performance. So, uh, so yeah, I've had plenty of time to think about that now, and uh, I think I'm over it now. <laughs> in 2013, Simon again proved his Wentworth credentials, making it into a three-man playoff with Matteo Manassero and Mark Warren. I felt really good in the playoff. Actually, I felt you know I. I'd done well to get there and you know this was good this was a good thing and you know I enjoy that situation anyway and um, I felt like I played good in the playoff just misjudged my final shot really and um, you know when it gets a little bit later at Wentworth the wind can drop and just get a little bit chillier under the trees there and I just came up a yard or two short on, on my second shot but that was the way it went that year uh, it was still a great year, and uh, I look back fondly at that, you know, that, that, that week. Manasero claimed the title to become the youngest winner of the BMW PGA Championship, but it was another timely boost of confidence for Khan as well. There has been times, you know, it's been... You start to question what you do as well, and it, it's, um, you know, golf is, uh, takes a lot out of you and, and your family as well, so... But no, it's, it's definitely a big, big, massive part of my life and what I want to do, so um, I'm looking forward to it.